Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about the man Hugh Jackman can play in his sleep, the main character in all the X-Men movies, the Beast, the Hunter, the Wolverine. First things first, sorry about not uploading last Friday, but me and the rest of the scientists had a lot of stuff coming up. So let's just jump right into this clawed monster. Wolverine has an incredible healing factor and adamantium skeleton. Although there are convincing scenes from the movies and comics, Wolverine does not have superhuman strength. He's almost immortal because of his re regeneration, constantly repairing him into cells. This might seem really cool, but it's actually Wolverine's biggest weakness. The average human adult body kills about 65 billion cells a day. Now if mitosis were to still occur, and the cells wouldn't die, he would essentially his double his mass daily. But superhero science guy, what if he just shed more cells than someone else? Okay, conscious. We understand that Wolverine may have a mutation which allows him to shed cells more quickly than any other human, but the problem is that there is no gene for shedding cells. Your cells die, and they fall off. But to satisfy you, oh great knowing voice in my head, what if Wolverine did not have as many new cells being formed as a normal human? His cells are practically immortal, so they wouldn't die anyway, even if he were to shed more quickly. Now I know that's a lot to take in, so let me break it down for you. Mitosis is a process in which a cell duplicates itself to make an exact replica. I won't go into detail on the whole cell cycle, but mitosis, as said before, is a process in which the cells of the body duplicate. This replication only happens in accordance with the cell cycle and do not happen in response to stimuli, unless there is a wound in which the replication of a certain cell is relevant. Now there is a large Achilles heel to all of this. You see, the Wolverine smokes a lot. Like, a lot of smoking. And what do you get from smoking? Cancer. So if his cells were to reproduce at the same rate and he got cancer cells, those cancer cells would take over the rest of his body within minutes. His whole body would be covered in tumors. It would be disgusting. And the worst part, he couldn't even cut it out. It would just regenerate way too fast for anything, even his adamantium claws. So remember kids, don't do drugs. Now I know you're thinking, why won't you talk about his most awesome factor, his claws? You have managed to speak like 500 words about the Wolverine without speaking about his claws. Uh, okay. So hitting the topic of his claws, they, like all other superpowers, are not all that they're cracked up to be. Picture this. One foot long metallic spikes shoved into his ulna and radius. For those unfamiliar to 7th grade science, ulna and radiuses are the bones that lead from your elbow to your wrist. So right now, if you want, you can put a ruler to your knuckles and measure one foot from there to the back of your arm. If you really had claws like that, then you could never bend your wrist unless the claws were deployed. Now that we covered his basic living nightmare, let's move on to his next trait, his adamantium lined bones. Now this is just a joke to me. You're probably wondering why, and I'll tell you. Just imagine the entire skeletal structure was completely solid. Aside from oiling up your joints, you'd not be able to move at all, much less fight crime. And I thought his yellow spandex was hard to work with. Let's just pretend that he could move because of, I don't know, comic reasons. And we need more time to fill this episode. So if adamantium is really indestructible, then he'd be able to support any weight. I did say that he has the strength of just an extremely fit person, but I also said he can support any weight, not lift. You might be scratching your head or wondering what I mean, so I'll elaborate. Because adamantium is invincible, it cannot break under any pressure, no matter how much weight you put on it. He can take it. So considering that realistically he would be stiff as a board, he would be better suited as a living, breathing support column. And he won't even erode. So now that we got his main abilities out of the way, let's look at some not quite so main abilities. He has increased senses, which make him the perfect hunter. Eyes of a falcon, nose of a German shepherd, and the hearing of an elephant. Just a funny thought is he would react horribly to dog whistles. Must have been rough at obedience training. Would have loved to see that. With all these skills, Wolvie is an incredible assassin, and a fighter. While you might think that Logan is immortal, he can die if he has enough blood or flesh removed from the system. I find this false considering he was ripped in half by the Hulk and then crawled back to his lower half to regenerate. I just want to point out, that is probably the most awesome comic event ever. I mean, really. Ripped in two, then he just put his legs back on as if they were a pair of pants? Awesome. Just awesome. Man, putting yourself together like that must really work up an appetite. Well, it does. Having a regeneration like that would require an almost constant intake of calories and nutrients. You couldn't go on a mission without having at least 20 Big Macs to accompany him. No human could possibly intake this much food, especially Little Wolvie. Well, I can't call him Little Wolvie, you ask, because he's only 5 foot 3 inches. That's about 1.6 meters. The amount of food that he would take would be just enough to bloat his stomach to explode. His stomach would simply rupture because of the amount of food taken into it and I didn't see any sort of superhuman digestive powers on his list. He might be able to hold a little more food because of it. he weighs 200 pounds, 
Now, how does a 5'3 guy weigh 200 pounds? That's not even with the adamantium bones. He would end up weighing 300. He's one beefy hobbit. Hey, I guess size doesn't matter. It's all about if they have the most freaking awesome claws in the world. So remember, whether he's blowing up like a balloon or standing still waiting for Dorothy to give him some oil, Wolverine still can't make a half-decent standalone movie. Remember to like this video and comment on what hero you would like to see perform in the real world next. We're the Superhero Scientist, signing off.